Okay. Aaron Parker, Parker Safes and Vaults, Shelbyville, Tennessee. We've got three safes here today. They're all different, and they're, uh, sorry, i got to keep low here. Um, but, but they're all kind of in that smaller bracket. So I know how hard it is sometimes when you're looking online and you're like, well, I need a small safe, and there's hundreds of safe models out there to choose from. So I'm going to give you a look today at three pretty common American security safes. And we'll go from the, uh, I guess we'll start over here with the uh, AN3020. So this safe, um, th this would be the lower end of these of these three. So this one's going to weigh 230 pounds. It's going to have a 12 gauge body, um, a quarter inch plate door. So it's made a lot like the uh, the SF gun safe line, Sierra Foxtrot SF. Um, and so a quarter inch plate door. You've got uh, three way active bolts here, two fire seals. This one will have a um, a 45 minute rating, okay? So not a real heavy safe, like for example, what I thought I'd do is try to pick the doors off up on these and give you a kind of an idea of maybe how much the door weighs. So this guy, pick up pretty easy. I don't know what that would weigh. Uh -oh, let me try there we go. Uh, that's probably, I don't know, I'd say maybe 50 pounds or something like that. So not a real heavy duty safe, but a decent little safe, you know? Um, so, price point's pretty good on these. It has an ESL-5 lock. Nice, uh, you know, pretty tight door gaps here. 180 degrees door swing. Uh, adjustable shelvings on the inside and four anchor points. So, good little safe there. That's the AM3020. And they make different, different sizes in all these as well. But uh, this one is the 3020. Okay, there's that one. This guy is the UL1511. So we're getting, we're going up in the ranks here. So this, this one's a, a heavier duty safe. This one weighs 246 pounds. Uh, it has a 7 8 inch door on it. This is a, what I would say is like more of a real flat, a fire rated safe. So a lot of times you can tell that by how the door is designed. And this has like a triangular angle on it that seats into a receiving angle, a complementary angle, when you shut the door. Okay, so there's no fire seal on it, like you see on flat, um, flat doors that see that flat against the safe. But what happens is uh, heat just can't get around these corners, right? So uh, a lot of your fire-rated file cabinets and things like that are made that way. But this is a, this is a UL uh, rated safe that has a two-hour fire rating on it. That's up at 18, 1850 degrees, and after that, that safe gets heated, then they do a drop test on it, which is 30 feet. So that would be the equivalent of a safe falling through a, uh, what is it, a two-story two, two building, I guess. Um, so that, that's pretty cool there. Um, Seven-eighths inch on your locking bolts, and, and a lot of folks get real caught up in how big the locking bolts are, but really, to me, it doesn't matter how big or how many of these you have, as long as your door thickness will hold up against the pry attack and your body. And this, this one will. So your the bolts extend into these, these sockets. So it's not just behind a, a piece of plate steel or uh, a gauge steel, even worse. They actually go into these round sockets. So active only on the, only on the strike side of the door here, this side, just has posts that are bolts that are fastened all the time. They also go into sockets. But adjustable shelving, um, pretty cool little safe. This would be more of your true fire rated safe, but also pretty secure. So give you an idea here on the door. Getting a little heavier there. But still not, you know, not crazy heavy. Of course it's small, I understand that. Okay? But anyway, just to give you an idea of size, this is the UL. 1511, all right? And we work our way up here. This is the big boy here. This is a CF1814. And the CF1814, now we're jumping way up in weight. So this one weighs 758 pounds, and it has a two-hour fire rating as well. But now we're, you know, we've got bigger bolts here, inch and, a, inch and a half bolts. The door on this thing is five and a half inches thick all the way across here, and then a three and a half inch body, all right? 
And once again, the bolts go into these sockets back here, little pockets, and stationary bolts on the hinge side here. I'm sorry, yeah, on the hinge side. And they go into the sockets as well. This stuff in here is just a, you know, shelving. These are brand new, We've got them slated for delivery, but uh, they come with touch up paint and documentation, extra shelf clips, so you can put some shelving in there. This one, the TL30, uh, you know, if you read about all the, uh, if you really want to know more about this, jump onto the uh, American Security Line and, and do some researching as to what the composite material is inside. It's like a concrete material filled with fiberglass and these ceramic nuggets and things. Really hard to drill through. It's, it's, it's made to, uh, all the places that are normally attacked on a safe, they're amped up considerably on this. But now we're getting into you know, a really heavy safe. I doubt I can even pick up the door on this at all. And I hope I don't take it off the hinges. Yeah, so now we're probably, uh, uh, I'd say that's maybe uh, over 100 pounds. So really heavy door on that thing. Uh, locks when, lock, or the, it, the, the bolts act, uh, extend when you, when you shut the door. You'd still have to roll the, or scramble your dial, spin your dial off. This is a group one dial on here. So anyway, there you have it. A CF1814, a UL1511, and an AM3020. Thanks for having a look. <laughs>